Most editors waste hours trying to make one video perfect. But here's the truth. Consistency beats perfection. Hello everyone, in today's video we will be creating this reel you just saw. All the assets used in this tutorial are available on my whatsapp channel. You can find the link in the description below. Let's begin by creating the background. Start by adding a new text layer then press the windows key and the dot key together to open the emojis and symbols section. From there choose a square symbol and scale it up to cover the entire screen. You can change its color to any shade you prefer. To enhance the background make it a compound clip and apply the dark night effect. Lower its intensity values slightly to give the background a cooler more stylish look. With the background ready it's time to add your first text. Choose a font and color that suits your style. Apply your preferred animation or follow the same steps I am using. Once the animation is complete, turn the text into a compound clip and trim it where the animation ends. Add the new text layer, switch up the font and color again and anima animate it just like before. After that make it a compound clip as well. Now let's add our animated clock, place it on your desired position and create a smooth appearance. Add a blend keyframe at the beginning with the opacity set to 0. Move a few frames forward and increase the opacity back to 100. Once the clock animation ends, freeze the frame so that you can extend the clip length without affecting its speed. Trim the clip to the frame where the clock's animation ends. Select the original frame. And add a transform keyframe. Increase the scale slightly, move forward a few frames, then return to its original size. To keep the movement smooth, apply reset animation curves. After this, you can add the rest of text elements. Changing their colors to match your design and apply animation to your choice. Once everything is placed, turn all the layers into a compound clip. Cut to where the last animation ends and add a transform keyframe. Then move a few frames forward and drag the whole scene upward uh, so it exits the screen. Use a preset curve to make the movement smooth. For the next part, bring in your pillar image and remove its background. If needed, use custom background removal to eliminate extra parts. Then apply the changes. Now import the diamond image and place it on the top of the pillar. Remove its background as well. Combine both the pillar and diamond into a single compound clip. Add a transform keyframe and drag both assets downwards out of the screen. Then move a few frames ahead and bring them back to their original position. Now add the word perfection and animate it the way I did in the video.
was their stand up group pull the laser into compound clip add a transform keyframe move few frame forward and decrease the scale slightly to create a zoom out effect when the animation ends go to effects panel and apply a blur effect to the other layer after that type in more text place them at different positions on the screen and experiment with various colors don't forget to add animation to this text as well Once the animation finishes, trim the timeline at the point and delete all the layers to the right. Now add the next piece of text, create two duplicate layers and place them underneath the original. You can choose any font that fits your design. To give the text more depth, apply a soft shadow. Change the colors as you fit. Bring in a PNG key graphic and position neatly on the top of the text. Select all these layers and combine them into a compound clip. Add a transform keyframe and scale the entire layer up. After a few frames, scale it back to its original size. When that animation finishes, cut the new section and add another transform keyframe, move forward a few frames and slide the entire screen upward so it disappears from the screen. Next, import a pending shot of chess. Add a transform keyframe, drag it downward and apply a small rotation to make it more dynamic. After a few frames, return to its original position. He set the rotation to zero. Add your last piece of text just like before and choose your favorite font and color. Give your video polish high quality finish, apply some overlays at the end. And that's it. I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye.